That's awesome. I didn't know we were going first. This is great. <laughs> Thank you, Recording Academy, for this great award. It's a pinnacle achievement, and all of us at Royer Labs are deeply honored. When Neil Portnow called to tell us we were winning the Technical Grammy this year, it was really a jaw-dropping, frozen-in-time moment that we will be talking about for the rest of our lives, and bothering kids and grandchildren and great-grandkids. Lastly, we'd like to thank the Recording Academy one more time for putting the industry's most recognized and highly respected stamp of approval on ribbon microphone technology. Ribbons hear more like the human ear does than any other kind of microphone, and it's our job to teach that to engineers and live sound engineers uh, around the world. Um, you have just given us the most meaningful endorsement and the greatest possible tool for carrying that message forward, and we owe you a profound debt of gratitude for that. Thank you. Now, David Royer, I'd like to speak. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, this award is particularly moving for me and my family. I was diagnosed with classic autism as a young child, but fortunately, a few people along the way refused to accept autism as an excuse, starting with my brother and my two sisters who insisted that I do my share of the household chores, <laughs> and a second grade teacher who insisted that I master the horrors of cursive writing, among other things. As a youngster, I loved classical music, and when I was a teenager, my sister took me folk dancing a few times. I became hooked on ethnic music, and since the, since the records were hard to find, I scrounged a second-hand tape recorder, and I learned how to maintain it so I could make my own recordings of that music. I gradually became quite a critical listener, and I eventually got the best sound equipment that I could afford repairing second-hand equipment or building my own equipment from scratch, microphones included. I read as much as I could find, and I managed to pick the brains of people who had first-hand experience with manufacturing microphones, uh, such as Bill Hayes from Altec, Charlie Gant from RCA, and Bob Speeden among them. Copies of recordings from Bob Speeden's tape collection were particularly pertinent, by the way, since the best of those recordings forcefully demonstrated the capabilities of a simple stereo pair of ribbon microphones. The advice and encouragement of several people in this room tonight, the tireless work of everybody at Royer Labs, and advice and encouragement from countless other people in our industry have all played a part in Royer's being here to accept this award this evening. A heartful thank you to all of you. It's truly a great honor and a privilege for this company to receive this award and to be recognized by the industry we all love so much. I've had great partners and staff to work with, and over the years, over the years, and this award is as much for them as it is for me or the company. I hope that Royer Labs continues in the future to be worthy of this recognition. I would also like to thank John, Paul, George, and Ringo, George Martin, and Jeff Emmerich for opening my eyes and ears at the age of 12, for without their profound influence on me, I certainly wouldn't be standing here at all, period. <laughs> and I'd like to thank my wife, Ann, for supporting me through all my nonsense. Anyway, thank you very much. <laughs> thank, you. thank you very much. I'll make this short. I would just like to express my deep appreciation to Mary Baba. I would like to thank my partners. Uh, I'd like to thank our staff. I'd like to thank uh, all our colleagues that have stood by us through the years. And I would like to thank the Academy for giving us this wonderful award before we died. Take care. <laughs>